Hello there guys! Welcome back to our channel and today's video is very exciting because ito na, isa sa mga requested video to guys because it's about kilay! I am not going to do a kilay tutorial guys but we will have a kilay talk so if you're interested to know something about kilay then keep on watching! These are just all based on what I've learned through watching videos sa YouTube, sa mga favorite ko na mga makeup gurus, makeup artists, and through reading as well. Because si Eugene, meron siyang mga book na binigay or nirigala sa akin during our monthsary. So, may mga na-learn tayo doon. Like this one, this is Makeup Makeovers in 5 to 20 Minutes by Robert Jones. And then, I also have Makeup Secrets by Gemma Kid. This one. So, actually, meron pa akong isa doon. But, sa dalawang librong to, mas marami akong na-learn. And that is what I am going to share to you guys right now. But before anything else, why is kilay so important ba? Diba? Well, actually, guys, if you have a perfectly shaped brows, it takes years off of you. It makes us look younger because it makes our eyes bigger, it lifts, and most importantly, it frames our face. Well, take a look at this. Si Tita Mona Lisa ako dyan. Wala akong kilay dyan. And ito ako if I have kilay, di ba? And that's my, ito yung preference ko sa pagkikilay. Um, I like it. Uh, on the side na may makeup talaga pag tinitingnan mo. I can consider my kilay sa side ng mga tinatawag nilang kilay on flick, pakak, um, plakado, well done, <laughs> well done, pagkain. Yon, I can consider ang ganitong klaseng pagkikilay sa ganun na side. Even though this kilay right now is not perfectly done, but, uh, don't just a side na yun because this is not naturally looking brows. I can actually do natural looking brows but it really takes time and effort guys because syempre yung kilay ko manipis na and it's um it really takes time for me to mimic hair brows. So ever since ito na talaga yung gusto kong pagkikilay yung may makikita talaga yung makeup. You know what guys it all boils down to your personal preference. If ganyan yung gusto mong pagkikilay, then go. So long as you know how to carry yourself. Sabi nga nila sa makeup, you can be creative as much as you want. But, there are rules guys. And sometimes, we just need to know those rules. Para, hindi lang masyadong malihis yung landas natin. <laughs> Ganon. So, that is what we're going to talk about. Actually, there are only five, I mean four. Four things that you need to remember before you put anything on your key line. First is trimming. So, sa trimming guys, we only need two things. And that first is a scissor. Yung maliit na scissor lang guys. Parang katulad nito. Yan. Oh. Ay! Vlogger! <laughs> Eto. Maliit na scissor lang guys. And then, a spoolie. I, I know everyone familiar na kayo sa ganito. Yung spoolie ganyan. So, ganito lang yung kailangan for trimming. So, sa trimming, madali lang guys. Uh, all you need to do is brush your brow hairs up. Sa itaas, mag -ganyan. Brush it up. And then, any hair na lalagpas sa upper brow line mo, you need to snip that away. You need to snip it using the scissor. And then, same goes sa ilalim. So, just um, brush your hair or your brow hair down ganyan, and then any brow that passes your brow line you need to snip that away as you can see meron akong hair pag pag binrush ko siyang pailalim ayan and that's what you need to snip kaso guys manipis yung kilay ko that's why i don't do trimming na um for me ha personally i recommend trimming doon sa may mga thick and bushy brows Pag manipis na masyado, like mine, hindi na ako nag-trim. Pero depende rin sa inyo. And to those na may mga thick and bushy brows, my God, guys, you need to embrace that. Because it it really makes you look younger pag meron kang thick and bushy brows. And all you need to do is tidy it up, then boom. Hindi na kayo mag, 
mahihirapan sa pagkikilay. Yun lang. And then, so, yan lang yung sa trimming, guys. You just need to brush your hair up and down, and then any hair that passes your upper and lower brow line, just snip that away. So, ito lang yung kailangan. Next is shaping. So, sa shaping, guys, very easy lang to remember. Meron lang tayong three points na dapat tandaan. So, first is where your brow brows should begin. So, sa side ng nose natin and before our eyes. That is where your brows should begin. Not here. Siyempre, wag dyan. Mga dito, yan. So, that's the first point. Second point is where your arch should be. The upper brow. You, I mean, highest point. I'm sorry. The highest point of your brow. So, from the side of your nose, ako, para mas madali ko lang tandaan, in the middle of my eye, sa gitna ng mata. So, from the side of my nose, yan. And this is where your highest point should be. Yan. Yan. That's where your brow arch should be. That's the second point. Third point is, of course, where your brows should end. So, easy lang sa side ng nose to the outer corner of our eyes. Yan. So, wag tayo dito, guys, ha. Masyado ng ano yan. <laughs> Diyan lang. Yan. O, oh, diba? So, that's shaping. Yun lang. And then, after you trim and then you shape your brows, sa shaping, dyan ka na nagtitwist. So, gagamit ka na ng tweezers. Oh my God, yung tweezers ko na iwan ko doon. So, kinuha ko siya. Ito yung tweezers. Alam kong alam yun na yan. And ito talaga yung pinaka-favorite natin pagdating sa kilay. Yung pagpa-pluck ng kilay, guys. And ako noon, talagang, ano ako dyan, guilty ako na mahilig akong mag-pluck ng kilay ko. Pero, as days, as years goes by na, ayoko nang mag ng kilay. Kasi manipis na nga yung kilay ko. At sya ka, dahil ito yung gusto kong pagkikilay, yung parang nakikita talaga yung makeup. Siyempre, pag may kinakausap ka na per, uh, up front, gusto ko rin makita nila na kahit pa paano, may buhok pa naman yung kilay ko. Like, pag malapitan, makikita mo pang may buhok. O, oh, ba Para hindi naman masyadong puro makeup lang. So, that's the reason, one of the reason why hindi na ako nagpa-plak. And guys, never ever over pluck your kilay because over plucking is equals to aging. So, tama lang. So, kung alam nyo na kung saan ilalagay yung highest point of your brow, usually, dyan ka na lang magpa-plak. Dyan ka mag-shape sa second point natin. And that's it. Kung yung kilay mo, syempre, meron kasing super blessed sa kilay na yung kilay hanggang dito na. So, syempre, sa ganyang mga situation, kailangan mo yung kunin or ipatread or what. So, ganon. Huwag na tayong mag over sa kilay. Okay? And then, third is choosing your brow colors. And dito, talagang super guilty ako na hindi ako pinafollow yung rules na to. Because, Ngayon, siguro medyo exempted ako kasi yung hair ko, parang dark naman siya. Brown ata to. Dark brown. And yung kilay ko ngayon, dark brown. So, medyo exempted ako ngayon. But kasi, kahit nakablant man yung hair ko, mahilig talaga ako na yung kilay ko is dark. Yun lang. Pero, carry ko naman siyang dalhin, di ba? Kasi marami namang nakakapansin na medyo okay naman yung kilay ko. So, okay lang yun. But the rule of thumb is one shade lighter than your hair color. So, kung kaya nyo yung sundin yun, then go. Depende rin lang naman sa inyo. Huwag naman masyado yung super, super dark. And the fourth one is application. And that is where all the brow products comes in. Marami ng brow products ngayon, guys. Um, like pencil. Pencil, yan yung pinaka-popular. And dyan ako nag-start when I was in college. Kasi college na ako nag-start na magkilay-kilay. And then, meron pomade. Pomade yung gamit ko ngayon. And then, meron rin mga creams, powder, mascara. Marami na. So, if you want to start na magkilay-kilay, I would suggest na mag-start kayo sa pencil. Kasi mas madaling um, mag mag-learn if mag-start ka sa pencil. But, I would suggest then to choose a good brow pencil, yung pigmented. Maraming mura ngayon na pigmented, guys. 
why pigmented? Kasi guys, pag gumamit kayo ng pencil sa kilay, and pag nag-drawing na kayo, pangit tingnan pag may linya. So, you need to smudge it using a an angle brush. Yan, mga ganito. So, kailangan mo siyang smudge, and that's why important na pigmented siya, para madali siyang smudge. Yan. So, yun lang naman, um, and you don't need to worry guys if you're starting kasi alam natin lahat that key lies are not twins but cousins <laughs> sisters so they're not perfectly the same so pag nag start ka you know <clears throat> ano lang yun eh, trial and error and ang dami daming videos ngayon guys where you can really learn how to do your key lie that's it trimming, shaping, choosing your brow colors, and application. And always remember, guys, key lie are um, the finishing touch that completes your look. Key lies frames our face. Trim before you twist. Um, over, never over pluck your key lie because over plucking is aging. And embrace your bushy brows because it is more youthful. And that's it. I hope you learned a thing or two. And if you do, guys, please like and share this video to your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you on our next vlog. Bye!